guys, I hope you're having a good day. Today we're going to talk about how to effectively source products for your business with the help of online resources. Whether you're an established business owner or an individual who's wanting to start their own business, we will tell you how to do it effectively. We have curated a five-step guide to help you make this process easy and hassle-free. To start off with, you need to decide in which direction you want to take your sourcing strategy. Now, this will depend on various factors, such as the type of product, the timeline of delivery, the place of selling, the pricing, resources available locally, and others. On the basis of this information, the decision you will have to make is if you want to source for your business through local resources available or would you want to go online to make the best purchase? Begin by looking into the local suppliers or manufacturers in your product category. They could be near you and you may contact them to understand their viability. Local sourcing is better to check out before jumping onto online resources because no matter what, this is really beneficial for any business that is just starting off. If the local sourcing strategy is not working out the best for you, then online resources are far and wide. With today's extensive digital presence, you just have to think about the brand that you want to build and all the other nuances are managed by resources available online. Step 1. Research your product. The very first step in this process is to be sure of the product that you want to sell and understand all the various nitty gritties of that particular product. Researching a product can be an extensive process in itself, but is equally important to build a good sourcing strategy. Another excellent way of looking at it is by doing a competitor analysis to understand if the product is actually doing well in the market and how it has been put out there by existing players. After identifying the product demand in the market, what you have to do is to measure the topical presence of that particular product. Conduct a trend analysis to make sure that you're tapping into the right kind of product that is doing well in the market currently. For trend forecasting, websites such as Global News and Global Trends can be used. An extra keynote here would be, if you need textile related information, then WGSN is what the world uses to stay ahead of the fashion trend curve. After understanding the mass appeal of your product, you would also have to look into the products that you are selling make sure that what you are offering is unique in the market. This can be done by going through all of your product details. The specifications of the product can differ from category to category, but let's say we take an example of a clothing product, a t-shirt. Then the product specifications and expected quality have to be outlined on the basis of factors such as the composition, material density, sizing, dyeing technique, print, Pantone shades, etc. This is the ultimate priority when it comes to starting a business. Before selling your product to others, it is important to have the entire knowledge of that particular product. Step 2. Build a checklist. After you have full knowledge of your product on the basis of the specifications and the understanding that you have gathered, you can build a checklist of the requirements that you have while you're sourcing for a product. This is very specific to making your product proposition unique in the target market. Continuing the same t-shirt example from before, while building this checklist, you can keep the following things in mind. First would be the quality. Here, quality can be judged based on the parameters of fabric composition and fabric density, followed by minimum order quantity. This will depend on the kind of range you want to build in terms of variety, size ratio as well as stock ratio. Stock ratio here would be what you want to maintain on your website or your shop. The next would be delivery. On the basis of your customer profile and your season based stocking pattern, you can decide what speed of delivery you want. In a minimum or maximum limit, you can manage your delivery speeds. The next would be private labeling. In case you're starting your brand from scratch and you want to have a brand name to it, then you would have to look for sourcing websites offering a private labeling or white labeling service or drop shipping services to make this unique brand. This would require a lot of information which we can cover for you in a separate video. 
shipping charges. This element highly differs on the basis of source country and the kind of delivery being used. Hence, while doing international sourcing, make sure shipping cost is well calculated as per your pricing policy. This is a very, very important step. From customs included or not, for door to door or dock to dock, there are various import terms that you will have to familiarize with in case you're planning on directly sourcing from an international brand. But if there is an e-commerce platform that is coming in between to help you manage all these orders, you can get your product directly to your doorstep. We have covered as many pointers as possible. If you're a home or a fashion business, we also have a built-in checklist that we have made available in the description below. So you can download this for free and use it. Let us know in the comments below if this checklist was useful or if you have any other suggestions. Now, at this point, you have understood your product, your market, and the various specifications that you would want to fulfill while you're doing your sourcing to make sure that you're achieving what you have in mind for your business. The next step in this process of your sourcing journey would be to find out suppliers, manufacturers, enablers, exporters, or e-commerce websites that are providing this sourcing service for you. A new aid solution to sourcing easily and hassle-free while sitting at home and building your business with no product restrictions is by reaching out to wholesale e-commerce websites. While you can directly reach out to brands or suppliers, it may have a lot of restrictions that you would have to keep in mind in terms of shipping costs and MOQs. Now, after you've decided the various options for sourcing, let it be a website or a supplier, just jot down some that you would want to look into and compare these to the basis of the checklist that we had built earlier. After ruling out the ones that are not working out for you, you can finalize at least three options in terms of sourcing providers that you would want to try in this journey. There is a lot of learning curve which would come after you've given it an initial try. Hence, have at least three options ready and place a sample order with them either by going onto their website or contacting the required person. Now, all you have to do is wait for your order to get delivered and understand if it has worked well according to your business objectives as well as the product objectives that you had in mind. Depending upon the service and the product, you can now make a decision that benefits you in the long run. This video was specifically talking about how to start your sourcing journey and what kind of steps you need to take to make sure that you're not missing out on the key variables. Apart from this, there are several other elements that are included in making sure that your sourcing strategy is well made. Hopefully, we've helped you in some way to build a base for sourcing. Just to give you a brief overview about what we have talked, firstly, understand your product and market. Build a checklist of the requirements. Analyze prospective sourcing partners. Place a sample order and make a final decision on the basis of the information gathered throughout this process. If this was helpful to you in any way, then please do not forget to like this video, share it with your other fellow businesses also, subscribe to our channel for more small business information and also help us by letting us know what are the other kind of videos that will help you in your business journey. Let's make global trade local.